I think the main thing is, you know, as, as an artist, uh, you know, and I, I put this on the stage, you know, I play Fenders and, um, you know, uh, uh, Strats and Tellies and it's all great. But when you put the people at, when is he going to play that? You know, you get a whole different sound with, with these guitars. So first I'm going to tune up here. This one I've got tuned in A. My name is Steve Harvey. I'm really glad to be here on the Necker River today. This is a beautiful uh, festival, and I'm going to show you a lot about uh, what the Cigar Box guitar is about, how to help you. Is, is everybody speak pretty good English here, or do you want me to slow down? Is this uh, okay? This is good. All right. I think uh, the. One of the most important things, if you're either a builder or you're a player, is to make sure the intonation is right, okay? We all know that um, from here at the 12th fret, you have to have it so that the bridge right here is exactly this length measurement as right here. Sometimes people, they get a cigar box, you might go to a builder and buy something because you like it, but all of a sudden it's not. It might be wrong there. And then you're struggling. Very, very important to make sure that, that that's right there. Okay. So much you can do with a cigar box guitar. It's only three strings. Okay. Um, you can do a one five one, like this is an A. This is the five, which is E and A. Now you can also um, you can do. Uh, does does everybody know Shane Spiel? Yeah. You know, so Shane Spiel's great, and he likes to do like a a one four four. Sometimes he does a one five five. There's so many different things you can actually do all one string okay this is the magic of the, uh, of the guitars so again um okay, right there's just some basic blues stuff the nice thing about a cigar box guitar, because you only have three strings, you have more, more um, uh, width between each string. So all of a sudden, you can focus on. Fantastic sound, um, at least I think so. I like I, I like this sound because it just gives you a nice deep tone. Um, everybody's playing is different. That's what makes it so great. Maybe some of you don't want to. Um, this is kind of odd to you, but this is sort of the sound I get, and it, it can work. Any questions so far? All right. So I'm using um, a killer string, uh, a 42. 32, uh, 22. I this all for you for free. Um, it just it, it, they're made uh, with uh, in, in the United States with nickel wound and they're, they're nice thick strings because I like um, you know a, a fatter sound. Now, big debate, and this is true. When I first started uh, learning how to play slide, I took lessons and I was always taught to um, dampen. what I'm saying so what I'm doing is I'm um, uh, when I play 
they're kind of dampen in the back. So is that a word? Does that make any sense in, in German? Dampen? It's like... Yeah. Yeah. have to experiment and get your own style. I've been criticized a lot because I play, um, uh, I've taken lessons on how to play a pedal steel, okay? And pedal steel players, they teach you with a bar to like tilt in. So I kind of like, so I'm like at an angle. Buddy always like to go when they go to the five years go. things to, to, to for you to learn which one of the most important things and um, are turnarounds you know uh, turnarounds like so when a turnaround happens is when you you know you, you're doing a blues you're this is the one chord could have listened like to Jimmy Reed song I do a lot is uh, Jesus Just Left Chicago. So Jesus Just Left Chicago. Jesus Just Left Chicago. But instead of doing that, I just, Jesus Just Left Chicago. Lord, it bow. Uncle Mark, 
Does everybody know Uncle Mark? Yeah. Uncle, yeah, great. Everybody knows Uncle Mark. Actually, uh, Uncle Mark, I made a string line for him, the 4234, because uh, that's what he likes, and he's been pushing the strings. Uncle Mark's got so many lessons. Uncle Mark will show you this. I, I'm not going to sit here and just take all the time to, to give you guitar. That's what's amazing. You just go on YouTube now. There's all these free lessons. You just got to watch. Uncle Mark breaks it down, so I like that Uncle Mark. Uncle Mark. All right, so let me show you those, some of my tips. Now, everybody knows Elmore James, right? Basic Blues, Peter Green from England. You know, uh, most of the time, you know, they would all go, um, and this, you know, you go, da 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 which, which is really cool. Instead of going to the 12th fret, this is my number one secret I'm teaching you guys today. Your 25 euros is worth this everything right there. So most people go. So instead of doing that riff, I sink down, down to the 10. So what I do is like Seven. So instead of uh, uh, you know, so ain't going now, man. Lord, big roll by myself. Well, I ain't going now, man. Love, I ain't going now. Big roll by myself. So, the main thing is to take your time. If you can't learn something, you can do it really slow. Like... It's amazing. Like, you take a look at that Don O'Dell video. Like, everybody's all crazy. Wow! Steve Harvey's incredibly great and everything. All I'm doing in that, when I'm doing that whole thing where I kick my leg on. And I do this shit. And everybody's like, wow. And it, but it's so easy. It, this is nothing but the sound, because you only got three strings. To share a story with you, who really turned me on to the Cigar Boss guitar was Microwave Dave. Microwave Dave. We did a t microwave Dave's from Alabama. We did a show, a rock rock blues show in Milwaukee. We were the first band, and you know I had the Strat, you know harmonica player like Thunderbirds, like you know we were funk, we West Side Heat. Ah, uh, we were great. You know I had the long hair, I had eagle. Um, I was going out with the lady with the mob bench, herring, you know, and our band was tight. I was playing all over the place, so. Microwave Dave comes up with a cigar box afterwards. You know, we got all the girls and everything. Microwave Dave just starts with a bass player and drummer, just starts going over. Hey, Milwaukee! Everybody completely forgot about our band. They're like, what the fuck is that sound? And it was just like Hound Dog Taylor, like on, on meets the Sex Pistols or, or Zeppelin. And it was just like, holy shit, nobody even. They, they all forgot about us. The girls, the mob bench, all the ladies left. Microwave Dave and I. And I went up to him and I'm like, dude, that old piece of shit, I got like a 57 uh, Fender replica Strat and all these pedals and the greatest amp. And I'm like, you blew us away. You blew us away. And then, then I, 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 I told the guys and I was driving the way back. Son of a bitch. That guy was so good. I don't know what the hell that is. A cigar box. Game. What are you? I'm, I'm getting, we're making one of those. I'm not going to, and, and that's, he was a big influence. And so, and I get it a lot too. You know, I have got to play at a festival 
with like you saw at uh, uh, Son of a Beach, uh, Samantha Fish's mm -hmm. festival. There was a lot of good musicians yeah. there that day. Yeah. But I did okay. I had Stumpy Joe with one string, yeah. and and yeah. we and we we came up with the sound. I had da a Damon Fowler, but you know, so so because a lot of times you know you feel like wow, you got like like Joe Bonamassa. How am I gonna deal play? But but the sound of cigar box guitar, it's just raw. It's that raw sound just gonna. <laughs> So that's sort of um, some of the, the, the stuff you get out of it. Any questions? When you do that, the last thing, you slide and you, you also Yeah, it's just on. like, it's yeah, like, yeah, right, it's like, good, yeah, exactly. I want to show you guys how it is. So it's like BB King. All you're doing is you're going, you're shaking your hand, yeah. like, like, you know, like the thrill is going, dun, 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 you know, but instead of doing like one finger, you're, but it's great because when you, when you turn it up like to a fender, like, you know, and you go, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're glad to be here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And, and, the and, and all of a sudden, everybody stops eating uh, uh, their, 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 their ch chicken McNuggets. And everybody's like, what the, f you know, you know and, and the drums, go, you know, and then you got to go, you know, and it's like, yeah, and then people are like, all of a sudden, See, a lot of people think like this is a, a, a like like a, a gimmick. Oh well, Steve, you, this is just a gimmick. Cigar boss guitar. I mean, listen to Samantha Fish. You got to admit, man, she's badass, man. She, I mean, yeah, she's got the legs and she looks like Marilyn Monroe, but that girl's badass, man. Like that Aaron Colburn, the new girl. Uh, you, you, anyway, so um, it's three strings. You can make a lot of noise with one of these son of a bitches. Any more questions? What kind of slide do you use? Uh, this is a mag slide. Um, Uli's got some good slides. I'm going to buy. I like Uli slides. It's light. But it's light, yeah. Okay. If you want to so buy it's, one, it's I, heavy. I have an extra one of those. It's, yeah, it's not, yeah, pass that around. Uh,